everyone, so today's look is actually a request from one of my subscribers and it's just, I think I'm gonna call this like a light bronze eye. She actually told me what she want me to use as far as eyeshadows, like what color, but most of the stuff that she wanted me to use were from MAC and unfortunately I don't have every single MAC eyeshadow in the world, but I do have the Wet n Wild palettes which has a dupe for them. Like, um, as I go through the um, video, I'll probably mention which ones are actually the dupe for the MAC eyeshadows. But I'm going to zoom in right now so you can see the eye look. So this is how it looks like. Um, the light is shining from my left side right now so you could like see shadow of my lashes but they're not actually that long. So yes, I have a little bit of rice paper in the middle but it's just a yellow gold color more on the yellow side and then um, as it goes on to the outer corner, the gradient just goes darker that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys want to see how I did this look, please stay tuned and I will show you how. So I'm going to start with taking my MAC um, Studio Sculpt Concealer. I'm in NC30. I'm just going to take my ring finger and kind of even out the skin tone under my, well, on my lids. Next thing I'm going to do is take my eyeshadow primer. Today I'm using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm just going to put that all over the lids as well. I'm using my Rimmel Soft Call Eyeliner, and this is in white, and it looks like that. I'm just going to put a little bit of the white eyeliner right in my inner corner, and also in like the lower tear duct area. Next thing I'm going to do is take my eyeshadow. This is rice paper and it's just a yellow gold color. And I'm just going to place that over the white eyeliner from earlier and just blend it out. So the next eyeshadow I'm using is from my Secret World palette. This is from NYX and I'm just going to take this darker yellow gold color. And I'm just going to place it in the middle of my lids. I'm blending it to the rice paper color from earlier. Next color I'm using is this shimmery brown from my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. I'm just using a stiffer dome brush. And I'm just going to start from the outer corner and blending it into my crease. After that, I'm taking this matte brown color. You can also use Wedge from MAC if you have that. I'm just going to slowly accentuate the um, outer V. So the next color I'm using is this white eyeshadow. This is from my Pride palette, and it's a matte white. You could also use um, gesso. Oops. You could also use gesso from MAC if you have it, because it's a really, really tiny brush. I'm just taking a little bit, and I'm just going to use it as my highlight. So I'm just using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. This is their blackest black one. I'm going to line my lash line as thin as you can, but if you want it to be thicker, go ahead. I'm just going to do a little flick on the end. So whatever is left on the brush, just bring it down to the lower lash line. And going three-fourths of the way to like almost your inner corner. And then I'm going to go back with this color and just put it, and just put it in the lower lash line. Right in the middle. 
I'm going to connect it to the rice paper in the inner corner. And then I'm going to use the shimmery brown from my vanity palette. And also smudge that color in the outer corner. So I already curled my lashes and today I'm using my falsies from Maybelline. So I hope you guys like this look. It's very simple. It's very quick. You could wear this during the day and it's not too dark and it could even be a little light smoky eye and also at night because this is like a little bit shimmery so you could use it at night you know if you're going out somewhere or something so yes i hope you guys again like this look and if you have anything just let me know um like a request like this subby did and as always don't forget to comment rate subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye